order to install Jenkins in your system, you need to have Java installed in the system, right? So first thing, if you want to install Jenkins on Windows, make sure that Java is downloaded into your system. If you do not have Java, no worries. Let me show you how you can install Java in your system. So go to your browser and search for Oracle Java. Go to Java Downloads. From here, you'll find all the versions of your Java. So we'll uh, let's go with JDK 21. For Windows, click on this 64 MSI installer. It has been downloaded. So click on that. Click on next. Okay, select where you want to save it. So for me, the location seems perfect. So I'll just click on next. Here it will start installing. It is asking me, do you want to allow? Yes. Okay, click on next. Workflows we can see. Now the one thing that you need to do is you need to first go to your Java page where it got installed. So for me, it installed in my C, in my program files. We have a folder named as Java. Inside Java, we have JDK21 and bin. Okay, so I'll just copy this location and I'll search for environment variables. Environment variables over here. I click on environment variables, and here you'll see a path. Okay, so just right click on this and add a new one. Okay, this is the one that we want, and click on okay. Okay, now oh, open your command prompt. And over here, we are able to see that Java has been installed and the version is 21.0.6. So with this way, we have successfully installed our Java. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to install Jenkins. So we'll search again Jenkins and then we'll go to Jenkins over here. Where you'll see the download section or over here also you'll see the download section. Click on download. And in this, we have two options. One is a stable option and one is weekly releases. So let's go with the stable option LTS. In this, I want uh, to install uh, ja uh, Jenkins into my Windows. So I'll click on Windows, and uh, this will, you know, start the download for me. So let's wait for it to click on this, and it's done. It's preparing to install Jenkins. Next. Okay, you can take a look at where do you want Jenkins to be. If you want to change it, you can change it from here. Otherwise, you can click on next. Okay, for now, either if you want to create a user, you can go ahead. Or if you want to run the system as local system, you can go with the first option. So right now, I'll go with the first option. Next. Here, it will ask you which port number you will use for Jenkins. So for Jenkins, I'll use the port number 8080. And make sure that uh, the port number is available. So just click on test port. And we can see that the port is available, so we can go ahead. Next. Uh, again, where uh, select the path for your JDK. So here we need to change the path. Okay, it is in Java, JDK, pin. So we can mention this path over here. Or we can remove this pin from here. Next. Uh, for now, let's keep it as it is. Next. And install. Okay, Jenkins will get installed. Yes. Starting the service. And we have completed the Jenkins setup page. Click on finish. Now to access it, you can visit the local host. And if Jenkins is configured properly, you will be able to see the Jenkins page over here. Okay, so now it is asking me for a password. Where do you find this password? The location is given over here. So if you go to this location, I'll just copy this and I'll put it over here. So it is asking me to open the file. So I'll open the file in Notepad. And this is my password. Right, just copy it. 
and paste it over here. Click on next. Now here it is asking me to customize the channel. Now here we get two options. One is to install the suggested plugins or you can select plugins on your own to install. For now let's go with install suggested plugins. And it will install all the suggested plugins that are there in Jenkins like Ant and Gradle. Okay, now you can create your first admin user. So you can give a username and password. So I'll just go with my name and password. Make sure you remember it. Okay, and I'll mention my email address as well, which I want to use. And click on Save and Continue. Now over here it is asking using which URL you'll be accessing Trendkin. So as uh, it is our local machine, uh, basically we'll make it a local host. So click on save and finish and you're done. Okay, click on start using Jenkins. And you have successfully installed Jenkins in your Windows. Okay, you can access it using the local host. So thank you all. Let's meet in the next video. Bye.